Hello. This video provides a brief overview of Discover E's Future City program, as well as details on its 2021-2022 competition cycle. So, what is the Future City competition? Future City is a project-based STEAM program for middle school kids in 6th, 7th, or 8th grades. It provides a one-of-a-kind hands-on experience by introducing participants to engineering concepts by having them imagine, design, and build a city that's set at least 100 years in the future. Each year, there's a different theme, a challenge that the teams must address in their futuristic designs. This year's is a waste-free future, and the theme asks for teams to design a futuristic city using the three principles of a circular economy. These principles are, one, designing out waste and pollution, two, keeping products and materials in use, and three, regenerating natural systems. The Future City competition is presented by Discover E. To find out more about Discover E's programs, such as Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day and Engineers Week, you can visit discovere.org. So, who makes up a Future City team? Teams do not necessarily have to be from a school. Some teams are made up of kids from the same after-school program, extracurricular club, or other out-of-school time group. Homeschool groups are also welcomed. This year, due to the continued potential for limitations on school activities, parent-led teams will be accepted. Each team is made up of at least three kids. Each team is led by an adult referred to as the team educator. They facilitate and direct the team on day-to-day -day issues and submit the team's deliverables. There is also an official role on the team for a mentor who's an adult STEM or city professional who acts as a window into the real world of engineering, technology, urban planning, or related field. The mentor is a role model and active on the team, but they do not need to be present at every meeting. There are 40 regional future city competitions located throughout the United States. You can find your region at futurecity.org. There are also official competitions throughout Canada, China, and the Middle East. Teams compete at their regional competitions in early 2022. The first place team from each region earns a spot to compete at the finals. Competition dates and deliverable deadlines vary by region. Your regional coordinator will keep you in the loop. If you have any questions, you can find their contact information under the Find My Region page of futurecity.org. All regional competitions will be taking place in January of 2022. Discover E will make a decision later this fall about whether it's possible to safely offer the finals in person in Washington, D.C. in February. We are hopeful, but not yet certain. When we decide if finals will be in person or virtual, we will let you know. There are five items that each team works on over the course of the project. Each of these deliverables are reviewed and scored by volunteer judges. Keep in mind that while a team must complete all five deliverables in order to be eligible for the finals competition, many teams and educators choose to use Future City solely as an educational resource. In these instances, teams may choose to work on only a few deliverables, but not all of them. Teams complete a project plan to help them plan their goals and organize their work. The second deliverable is a 1500 word essay that describes the team's city and their solution to the waste-free future challenge. The third deliverable is a physical model of the city. Teams will build this to scale using recycled and repurposed materials. Teams may create a single model or multiple model segments. Teams will submit a PDF slideshow containing photos and captions prior to the regional competition, which will be scored by judges. Some regions may choose to offer an in-person exhibition of team models but all scores will be based on the slideshow and done virtually. The fourth deliverable is a recorded video presentation about the city, no longer than seven minutes. Teams can choose their own format for the presentation video. It could re be recorded in person, over a platform like Zoom, or separately on individual phones or computers. Visit the YouTube link at futurecity.org to watch the presentation from last year's top five finalists. Watching these examples could help your team get an idea of what they might want to do. The last Future City deliverable is the live city Q&A. It is 10 minutes long and involves judges asking three student team representatives questions about their project. 
This Q&A may be virtual, happening via Zoom or a similar platform, or it may be in person. That decision will be made by your regional coordinator and shared as soon as possible. Whether you're considering participating in Future City as a student, an educator, a mentor, a judge, or a sponsor, you're sure to have an incredible experience, and we're here to help you along the way. You can find more details at futurecity.org or email any questions to info at futurecity.org. Have a great day.